Nearly 5,000 families were separated under a program known as the Zero Tolerance Policy while seeking asylum at the U.S.-Mexico border. It has since been revoked. Five years later, 180 children are still separated from their parents, and those who have been reunited are still in limbo. And the biggest point where we're still negotiating is, is there going to be a pathway for them to remain permanently in the U.S.? And we're hoping that ultimately we can figure out a way to give people a fair chance to apply to remain. Otherwise, they're just going to be sent right back to danger or the parents are going to be sent back. Former President Donald Trump's administration declared zero tolerance for immigrants found illegally crossing the border. Parents were criminally charged and jailed. Their children were taken away. The policy led to thousands of family separations. We began getting calls from people on the ground saying, we think children are being taken away from their parents. So we started investigating. It became clear that it was actually happening. Like thousands of migrants, Luis and his teenage son left Guatemala in May 2018 to escape local gangs, tracking more than 2,000 kilometers to the U.S.-Mexico border. They arrived during the zero tolerance policy. Luis's son joined thousands of migrant children, some just toddlers, kept in holding facilities. I encountered border patrol officers who took me and my son. They told me my child had to be separated from me because I was going to criminal detention. Luis is not his real name and VOA agreed to protect his identity. Officials told me, you can't ask anything. If you ask questions, we're going to file more charges against you. More than 20 lawsuits have been filed by migrants separated at the border. The policy sparked bipartisan outrage. It pushed then-President Trump to end the practice. Some of the children were in foster care. Others were sent to distant relatives they had never known before. The lesson is that there is no, no healing that, right? There is no getting back that time. And the damage will be lasting and intense. Within weeks of taking office in January 2021, President Joe Biden created an interagency task force to reunite children separated from their families. Talks begin to settle some of the 20 lawsuits, but Biden officials abandoned the talks in November 2021. Congress has not passed any bills to help the separated families. We are trying to redress a harm that our government committed. So I hesitate to do too much congratulating until the hundreds that are still out there are returned. Conservatives blasted the idea of offering payments to families. Last November, some Senate Republicans urged President Biden to halt any financial compensation. They called the idea absurd and said it could encourage more illegal crosses at the U.S.-Mexico border. 